Hey there, you're watching Wildflower Video Tips. I'm Lindsay Moe. Today I'm going to show you how to create video pins in Adobe Premiere Pro. Video pins have been performing super well for me on my own blog. I definitely think it's something you should be doing and trying out. There are a ton of different ways you can do it. I definitely recommend finding kind of your own style to them, but this is what I've been using and it's been working well. I am always experimenting with new styles to see if something else works better, but these are really easy to make. They're only going to add a couple minutes to your editing workflow if you're already creating a video and I'm excited to see how they turn out for you. Let's dive in. I have created a template just for creating tall video pins, and this is only because it's not something I started doing from the beginning. I have a lot of videos, so I've been going back and creating video pins for each of my videos. For new videos, I just include it as part of the template for that video's project. And I've done a video on creating template projects before, so I definitely recommend you go back and watch that if you don't know what I'm talking about. It's super easy to do and really useful. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a copy. I'm going to do edit duplicate of this template. And this is going to be a tall video pin for mushroom walnut tacos. And then I've imported into my footage bin my square version of the finished video. I'm going to click and drag that over into the timeline. Keep the existing settings because I have this set to 1080 by 2160. You can make your video pins whatever size you feel comfortable with. If you want it to be two to three, that's great but I've found these to work really well for me. So what I'm going to do now that it's in the timeline is I'm going to control click and unlink the video from the audio. I like to put my video on A2 and go into effects and reposition it to 540 by 540. That will position it on the top of our video and over here in the footage, I have also imported a image. And I will just extend that clip out to the length of the video. You can see the image is bigger than the space allowed. So we're going to go into effects. Make sure you have the image selected and just play with the scale and position until it looks how you want it to look. I'm dragging this down and dragging the scale down. Ooh. And that looks pretty good. So now you can go back to your timeline and you can watch it. And just make sure that they both last the same length. And that looks pretty good. That's really it for these. They're a little strange because when you see them on mobile, on Pinterest, it only shows the bottom half of the video and the top half of the photo. But they do really well. People keep clicking on them. People keep visiting the site from them. So I am experimenting with some where the video is in the middle. And then you could move the image down or to the top, or you could include text on either side. Whatever you're comfortable with, whatever you want to experiment with, they're really easy to do and maneuver, and you can add whatever graphics you want. I really recommend you try these out. They perform really well on Pinterest. That's it. 
Video pins have skyrocketed my engagement on Pinterest. I'm really excited for you to try them out if you haven't already. Definitely let me know if you do. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe so you never miss another video. I'm here every Tuesday with another tip. We'll see you then.